fans, this is Zuby Masters returning to my Let's Play of Danganronpa. Does it appear to be the bathroom? Huh? It's not opening? Guess it's locked. Some kind of lint roller. Guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a tool kit. Must be brand new. Still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll leave it there. Must be the key to the room. Their name is written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. It's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed completely protected against tampering or pick locking. locking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathroom in the girls' room includes a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be as be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. And threw in the trash. Notepad. I got the school must have given one to each of us. This not be any particularly strange about the bed. Looks like the door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. I rush out of the room and meet up with all the others. But there was something waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. But ah! Oh, Sayaka? Sorry, are you okay? I I'm fine. I hope you're okay. <laughs> Sorry about that.
Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> Make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know, I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscles jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. Are you okay, you know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked right there in front of everyone. I guess I will live my lack of cool right in front of them Makoto. from the beginning. Makoto? Uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Th th thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found out. So that means it's almost time to get back together. If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. the dormitory dining hall. Um, that's pretty clean, so that's good. I guess that's not really important right now, with us being prisoner here and all. Here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> okay, let's just wait here. <laughs> you heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? Kind of a sun, I know, but here comes a tutorial. And right now, I like to talk about reactions. You're gonna be talking to Saeed, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. Are you familiar with reactions? Well, just in case, let me explain. When purple words show up, you press the X button, and then you go into reaction mode. The reaction button makes a selection and press the A to confirm. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whenever you talk about how to look for more info. like this is called reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever important school. Also, you go ahead and use it already. Well, that's just fun. 
Make sure you keep in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Hey, um. Hey, wait, Makoto. Um. Well, it's just. I know it's kind of a confusing. Our self introductions. Uh, um. We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Who wants to ask me something? I wonder what it is. I'm really curious. Hey, um. By the way, Makoto. What is it? Um. Just. What did you want to ask me? Hmm. Wait, did you go to Black Root Junior High? Well, were you maybe in class too? Yeah, actually I was. Ah. I knew it! I went there too. I was in class 4 though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Back in middle school, I would, she was a slippery with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was. That she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she knew who I was. Hey, um... Are you okay? Just surprises all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. It's true, but there were a lot of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything. And all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal could call me would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's. <laughs> she started giggling even louder. A somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow, grow calm. Her smile was the nicest smile I've ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know someone here. Ah. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all of this. I don't know you Makoto. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. But you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay! Thank you for helping me out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna become your ultimate assistant. Not, not my assistant. <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. She said, thank you, slap back. Just got me pumped up! Which is nice, but still. Everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. What time is it right now? It's seven o'clock at night? Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. Let's see. Being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I had to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. 
Kaka through open the dining hall rooms right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Ah, Makoto, Sayaka, you two got here first, huh? How Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. Mm -hmm. I guess that means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got him. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Hmm. And, you know, the silver-haired girl. Oh, yeah, Kyoto. What about her? She's not here. What? I took a, another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their head. Wait, so no one's... nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko seen her? because... Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting... How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to beat it as simple as that. <laughs> The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really? I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoto. Are you really going to be late like this on the first day of school? No one. Not only she late, she didn't tell him when she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trick. Come on. Ain't a real jackass right now. No, you know that. Hmm. Well, what do you want me to do? Puncture. Situation is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope Speak Academy briefing meeting has begun. Koto, actually, first of all, I've talked talk enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> I know. What's up? <laughs> I feel like I really become your personal assistant, don't you agree? <laughs> Best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my sister. Atmosphere is pleasant. what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see? Kyoko and went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. I 
we're going to try and find some clues to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discovery. That's all from me. Really? That's it? Hmm. If I have uncomfort anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I don't. So I don't. Right, understood. Spent some time looking around the dormitories and Listen to me! I've made the discovery of the sentry. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Uh, well yeah, I figured out that out before anything else. Yeah. This door already has an ankle on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Each room key has its attached to a keychain, which the owner's name, which will be attached onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. And pause. Which, Hori and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and they wouldn't hear a thing. Well, each room has a private bathroom, which, which could also lock. Hmm. It looks like there are only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. But when I checked my bathroom door before, it was definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. Should double check, check that later. Hey, come on! Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while? Quiet down and listen! Well, better have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honored Student? That's all for my report. Let's move on to who was ever next. Um, you see. We all went up and down the school, double checked the windows and all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was... Hmm, nothing, not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one of them to budge, even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. This girl really has been totally cut off. This is bad. So, it really bad, sucks. Bad. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. Damn, calm down. We're, st we're starting to make me nervous. Um, you see. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. We didn't find a thing, sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall thinking that maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with what? Sakura and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit. With desk and chairs and nothing. Ugh, shit. This heart is like metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. 
this. Anyway, sucks. we're gonna get out of here. It's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It was nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the schools and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But, but there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we're only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. I can't quite say that we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the type to go running around a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What are you thinking just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> it's not like... You invited me along. No one said, said hey, c come with me. Uh, I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like I wanted to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Then as your body make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. Alright, all right, guys, everyone just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, it sounds like you two are are so close now, you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on in Sayaka. Hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? And I guess I'm the only one left. Um... Found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. Uh, sure, but even with all that, there are 15 of us. How can the, the food last? <laughs> you can eat sesame seeds or something. What? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about that. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um... At least that's what Monokuma said. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. He told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. Was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything. Huh? Eat her? <sighs> what, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are you talking about? Oh! 
Come on, man. Hey, you bastard. What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some sort of sleazy drunk dude. Actually, not like there is a good kind of drunk dude. Hey! He stop screwing around, all of you. Are you all asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. Shit. He's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... Voice cut through the no noise interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carry on. Mm -hmm. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Go! Kyoko! Oh, what the heck? Where the heck have you been? You already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What is this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What the? Where did you find this? Well, it doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter. You're really freaking us out, right? But more important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem. Just look at it. Buildings where you're right now is a layout of the precisely the same way as Pope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is this really is Hope's Peak Academy? It's true. Well in terms of construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However. I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um but then this really is Hope's Peak. We don't, we didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid. It's not even possible. This is where the country's future leads are supposed to come and learn. But, but if this really is Hope Peak Academy, where are all the other students? <sighs> come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo! Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Pope's Peak put this all together, right? If I got stressed every time something like this happened, I have ectoplasm, echo, ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. You know? Good thing come to those who wait, right? So we just have to chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just hope. Just happy that is up. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> what have you been missing? Looking around was a total waste of time. No, we didn't find a way out. We didn't find who's behind this. We have no idea what's go going on. Oh! Huh? Is it not crystal clear what to you what is going on? Are you okay with it's this? It's perfectly obvious that we've been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. <laughs> you don't have to go and say that. I was trying to not think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? 
<laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Um... Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... If here, are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? The lack of adaptability is a lack of survival. Ability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down who can adapt. Actually, as someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rules regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime from 7 p.m. to 7 p.m. Areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and be punished accordingly. Let's see. So regarding the this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. The school's regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But why? Are you okay with this? We think the art now. Okay. When night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try to come and kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> we all have to worry about that night before. After night before, who knows how long it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activities at night? as a kind of measure. Indeed. Measure. However, unlike other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like what well, Goth Alita said, without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. I have all of it here. I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't just deci decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> then if you will excuse me. Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It's almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I could imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um, so I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We spend, we spend the night, it looks like. Huh. Apparently. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. Hmm. Well then, I say we call an end to today's meeting. You understand? Like she said, it's almost night time anyway. We can reconvenience first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without some sleep. This sucks, so we just have... <sighs> That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do tomorrow? 
So in the end, our only option is to split up and look around again, and let everyone know if we find anything. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. We're done for today. Good. Everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um. Are you ready? Oh, that's the day. Yeah, let's go. That's where I'll stay for the foreseeable future. I should take the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Sorry, I should check the bathroom over to him before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Bzz, bzz, wrong. Not locked. Holy crap! Jeez, talk about all reactions. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Wah -wah? Like some kind of robot bear ghost. What? Makoto Nayagi, this is a super duper majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack. Uh-huh. In the point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open it's good. So George just doesn't fit. Hey, um Didn't you see the notice? What, can't you read? Bathrooms in the boys' room don't have locks. Walking a boy's bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Oh, it's not pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds and bees and all. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to open this particular if ill fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay? You gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up, and you pull. Yes, indeed! Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't quite fit quite right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But looks like you're not lucky at all. <laughs> bye bye. Anyway, I said I don't feel like being here anymore. Bye. Hey, wait. Damn it. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. It's like night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms, right? All I can do now is try and get some sleep. I'll still mumbling to myself. I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It's as if I... Spend an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I've been tossed into a made up 
This is a cool world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've been suddenly dropped into. So that's how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I realized it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as the endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. In any normal school, Mr. Monica would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all so very much. Remember that you're all students at Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! And nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Apparently, it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm going to head to her room. The newfound determination, I left my room. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it and stay tuned.